Hey there everyone, how's it going? I'm Chris, and welcome to Midnight Scenes, your spooky, terrifying ride through the middle of nowhere. Anyways, uh, this is a short game by Octavi Navarro. Nav Navarro, something like that. I don't know, I'm terrible with names. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's a short game. I don't know how long it is, but I'm planning on playing the whole thing, so it might be a little long or it might be really short, so we'll see. Anyways, so come on, join me, and let's see what this game is all about. So Claire Burns, age 29, she is about to discover what kind of horrors lurk in darkness of a deserted road. <coughs> Wait, let me try that again. <coughs> Claire Barnes, age 29, she's about to discover what kind of horrors lurk in the darkness of a deserted road. A flat tire delayed Claire's trip. Little she suspects how this little incident will change her life forever, as well as her perception of reality. Oh, okay, so we'll play the radio. What channels are? What do we got? Hmm. Uh, presets? No. Okay. Ooh. Fitting. Oh, the scenery changed. Tonight's episode, The Highway. That probably need ambiance. It's got enough ambiance as it is. So far, I like it. I haven't played it yet, and I like it. Ooh, this reminds me of Twilight Zone, actually. A, a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. Point and click, I'm assuming. An unexpected obstacle. A new delay for Claire. She might need to find some help to resume her journey as soon as possible. Fortunately, she notices a signal pointing to a near emergency phone. Let's wish her luck. Okay, well there's the emergency phone. That way. How do I get there? I don't want to die. Hmm, what's that thing? Okay. Hmm. Okay then. What's well, this? Okay, that's just options. Anything in the car? Oh. Can I drive away? Go home now? Nope. Okay, well, let's get out. I have tools in the trunk. Nope. I don't have tools in the trunk. Neither do I have a flat tire. Hmm. Okay, well, that just gets me back in. Can I... Let me look like this box. Okay, well, I can apparently get it close enough to electrocute myself, but not die. Okay, whatever. Well then, let's go back this way and see if there's anything here. Oh, hello. Oh, I should have wrote that note. Oh, this kid again. Alright, well, let's unlock that and go through here. Hmm, okay, I want to see what this is quickly. Oh, it's the missing kid, I guess. Okay, there's not going to be anything more that way, so let's go through here. Oh dear, what happened here? Okay then. That shows so bad. Anyone alive? What's this? Hey, it's the kid. And this guy, and I don't know what that is. Something creepy there. This woman and a horse. And yeah, okay, well, we've established that this photo has no meaning to me yet. But uh, let's see. Okay, anything else? What the hell is that thing? Oh, okay. Why are the bolt cutters locked up with chains? So, are you serious? I gotta unlock this. They're not even attached to anything. I can just slip them loose. Oh, okay, I got rope. Oh, I moved that there. And then I got a hammer. Alright, alright, I got a nice little toolbox on. Can I use... No. Okay, fine. Well, I guess I gotta come back there. Hello, what's this mean? What is this? This weird looking. Are these pulleys? It's like a robot? It's a robot. What's that? Oh, weird little kid's drawing. Hmm. I don't know what this any of this means. Oh, hey, it's a robot. 
Okay, no, nope, can't go in there. Hmm. Okay, got a mop. Maybe to clean up all the blood, the lies everywhere. Ooh, yo, yo, so all creepy. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh dear. Okay, that didn't do anything for me. Nothing? Oh, maybe I need to attach. No. No. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I got you. And then tie it. Ah, okay, 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 I got it. I got it. Ooh. I did get it. Okay. Cool. Well, let's continue following the trail of blood, shall we? Ah, ah, ooh. Horror. Suspense. Mystery. Intrigue, even. Ooh, more horror. Oh my god, the blood just goes on and on and on and on. Alright, well, let's see. Uh, some beer, candle. Alright, we'll see what's on the telly, shall we? Oh, Static, I love this show. I love it. I look forward to it every night. It's so uh, awesome to watch. Alright, that's enough of that. Oh, uh, I see dead body. Hmm. Well, nothing venture, nothing gain. Hmm. Okay, nope. Let's just um, not go in there. I don't want to. <clears throat> Do I hear breathing? Hello? Oh, I've come to the back. Okay, well, I'm not sure I want to go inside. What's this? The grave? Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to, but I guess I'll take that. I'll take that. No, I needed the nail, but not the horseshoe. Come, come. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think I get why. I'm so smart. I'm so good at this stuff. I'm amazing myself every minute that passes. Oh, well, yeah, that's a good way to go about it. <sighs> Can I? Okay, I gotta combine that first. And then I put it there. And I went, wah, wah. Okay, good. Let us climb. Climb one. Climb like your life probably depends on it. And then I guess I'll just steal that. Okay, then. I think up here. Oh, what happened to this place anyway? This is like totally mangled. Is it whatever killed this guy? Hmm. Is it electric? I can't tell. Well, let's go find out what's inside with DB. Hmm, I don't like it. What is that noise? I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh god. Well, I guess I'll take the key. No, oh, please don't attack me. Uh, what the hell happened to this guy? Looks like he's trying to wrap his, his arm with his bandages, but. Jeez. Okay. Is that terrifying? Now, what was this key for? Oh, right, the other one. I don't know if whatever killed him is still around here somewhere. But let's get the hell out of here, shall we? Okay, that must be for this. Doesn't make any sense to me, but... I guess I need that. Nothing else? I don't need the axe? Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't care for anything. So it looks like whatever happened. He was trying to escape, and then... something, and then he hit here. Had a... I don't know, maybe he was just drunk or something. He drove into this thing. And then, bleeding, wandered into his house and died there in the bathroom trying to get help. Trying to patch up his arm. But that doesn't explain the missing family. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I have to cut this. Which is not a safe idea, so let's never, ever, ever, ever do that. Just saying. Hmm. Hey, another car. Oh dear. Oh my. Well, what has happened here? Okay, well, my theory. Where's the other half of this car? Okay, then, well, something definitely happened. I'm gonna need.
need this, am I? So here, I don't know what this is. Somewhere down here, and then into a cave, and into this thing. I don't know what this means. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see if this clipboard has anything else. Uh, what's this? This guy sitting here. A couple of dead people. But this guy circled him for some reason. Hmm. <laughs> maybe an escaped. Yeah, it looks like maybe an es something escaped. I think goes in the truck. Okay, well, let's see about this guy. A kid? Oh, the kid. Maybe he's got like some sort of strange, like, X Men psychokinetic powers or something. Oh. Well, this is the, oh, it's the cave. Or oh, actually, it's a tunnel. Hello. Emergency. 999. Oh, it's English game, is it? Pick that up. And, uh, nah, 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 nah. I don't know what that Nothing. Hmm. Okay, well, that seems as useless. <gasps> oh, 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 it's a kid. Oh. Hey, are you real? Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay, that was squishy. Alright, what'd you drop? A picture. A kid and a horse. It was burned. Hmm. Oh. Claire Barnes, age 29. With great effort, she finally managed to push aside the fallen power pole and resume her journey. Still terrified, she stopped at the first gas station to contact the authorities and inform about the disturbing event she had just witnessed. Nothing out of the ordinary is found by the police on that stretch of road. No signs of any crash or the presence of any mysterious kid. The man living in the farm was found a bit drunk but in good condition. Not a single word was written in any newspaper about the horrors that Claire witnessed that night. She went on with her life, trying to convince herself that she wasn't crazy after all. That she probably just saw something not meant to be seen. Midnight Scenes, The Highway. Oh man, that game was way too short. Design, programming, art, and music by Octavie Navarro. Sound effects by freesound.org. Pixel font by some P H or P K, I don't know. Made with Unity Adventure Creator Tool by Chris Burton. Okay, well, let's see if there's anything else before I say anything. If you enjoyed this short game, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Pixel Shaw. Midnight Scenes. Copyright Navarro, Tabe Navarro, 2017. Oh, it's not that old, is it? Okay, well, there you have it. That was Midnight Scenes, The Highway. That game was awesome, actually. I, that was phenomenal. It was amazing. It was too short, though. I kind of wanted to see it go on a little bit longer. I would like to explore some more, because yeah, that's what I want to do. But for what it was, for the length it was, it was amazing. It was fantastic. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Remember, if you have something you want to see, comment down below and let me know what you want to see. I'll check it out. And, um... Yeah, if you enjoyed stuff like this or any of the other horror games or other types of games I've played on this channel, be sure to check those out and see what you think. And uh, yeah, and if you like this one, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, let me know uh, uh, what else you want to see. But anyways, this guy's got more games. I'll be checking out the other one in my next video probably. We'll see how that goes out. But remember, if you didn't see it on Chris Played This, you are on the wrong channel, so come and find me. And if you are seeing this, well, you're obviously on my channel, so you know what to do. Subscribe. Hit that button. All right. Thanks, guys. See ya.